welcome to lecture number 16 guys and uh, this is going to be the most important lecture and uh, why is that because uh, see in this the stage analysis that is taught by Stan Weinstein will end and what I do with stage analysis will begin so with this we have four major objectives the first one is we'll learn what I do what is my stage analysis and that is itself, if you understand it well, enough to take your win rate 70% up easily. Then I'll make you understand that how moving averages are used in the rich road. So that is something, you know, that will define your stage analysis a lot. Then with this knowledge, you will be able to customize your entry and exit rules, which will lead to minimum losses. That means obviously your win rate is high. And even when you are giving a SL, when your SL is getting hit, if you have planned a 1% risk on capital, you would be probably getting away with a 0.7 or 0.6%. How that happens, this lecture will allow you. And I'll also give you a scan, which will make your life a little easier. The purpose is not to spoon feed you, but the purpose of this scan is to just push you, to make you a little creative, to think that, okay, this is how I can... Um, compartment I can make compartments of my scans because when we move forward I'll teach you specific setups so therein you will be required to think about and how you can design a scan so whatever I do here will be very useful over there and this also happens to be the part six of this series so a bonus for the YouTube community as well but anyways let's begin our lecture and uh, so yeah this is these five points are very important. So we'll first go through them. That first, I've been saying since, you know, the beginning that stage analysis is a relative concept. What I mean by that is, yes, in the book, Stan has used a weekly time frame. He has used a 10-week and a 30-week moving average. That is not a pattern or a formula or a fixed template you have to follow. That is a concept that can be applied anywhere. File. And uh, you will see that if you observe, you will observe that bottoms are made while your stock is in stage 1 or 4 within a stage 2. So just think about it. Then trends are bought in stage 1 within stage 2. That is important. Pretty much similar, but you know the timing wise, these are two different areas to buy. We'll explore why and how that happens. Then also understand that stage 2 within a stage 1 or 3 is best for short term trades you will see and uh, stage 2 within a stage 2 is best for your positional trades just think about it try to flex your thinking muscles so these 5 points basically summarize everything that is the basic but exactly how it works how it looks on the chart we'll see that but there is an element, as I said, of WDM, a controversial personality, I would say, back in the days. I'll tell you why. But he's, uh, he unlocks a very important concept for us, especially where we are as of now, in stage analysis. So we'll see that, how that happens. Before that, let me cover the very basics of rich road definitions and moving out of See, we don't use stage 1 and stage 3. Instead, we simply say you are in a range. So what happens in a range? You will see that 10, 20, 50 and 200 are intermingled. They are together. Most of the time, that is something that will be happening within a range. Okay. At times, you will see that 10, 20 and 50 are intermingled while there is a distance between 200. Now, if that distance is large, that is not a stage 1. But if the distance is not so much, it's a visual thing, but I'll make it clear for you. Then it is a range, it is still a range. So I hope this is very clear. For stage 2, you need 50 above your 200 and 200 has to be upsloping. If it is flat, it should be upslope before that. Whatever explained for stage 1 goes for the 3 as well. And then whatever is for 2, just invert it for the fourth one as well, right? 
So these are the basic definitions. So this is how it will look like. Now see, this is the example of a range. Right? What is happening here? 10, 20, 50 and 200 all are just intermingled and being volatile around each other. That signifies your price will be in range. How does that look on the charts? Well, this is a sample for you. So you can clearly see how my 10, 20, 50 are around 200 moving average. And the price is also being volatile. So basically, what you have to take is the moving averages are all intermingled and they are flat. The basic theme. So you get the idea. Not a very complex thing to understand. I hope this is clear. Now, when we talk about stage two, this is where things get interesting. So now see here, this is perfect stage two, right? 10, 20, 50, and 200, all above each other and upsloping. So you can see it here. It's uh, pretty clear over here. There, there is another version. It is still a stage two, but not the perfect one. What happens? 10 basically um, crosses below 20 or probably volatile around it. Otherwise, 50 is upslope, 200 is upslope. So that is good over there. This is an example from the charts. Basically, this is a trade. I think this chart is of PCBL. This is where I bought. And this is how it worked out. Pretty good. Fine. Then we have this case also where the 200 is upsloping. 10, 20, 50 are above it. But they are in downslope. Which you can clearly see over here. Right. So, still, I will call it as a stage 2. But seeing the gap at this point, you can say this is a range. But you probably get the idea. Right. It's not something very objective, you know, at this point of time when everything is very close. But just by looking at the slope, you can say, ah, it is still in a stage two through your perception work. So this is very clear. Then inverse of it is stage four. But I'll just show it to you here. See my 10 below 20, below 50, below 200, all are downsloping. That's a perfect stage four. Then you have a stage four that might look like this. Still a stage 4. And uh, what can happen is your 10 goes above uh, 20, even above 50. 20 is also above 50. And those 3 are upsloping, but they are below or downsloping 200 moving average. That is still a stage 4. And I hope you can understand why is that. Because of the perception work. Correct. So these basics should be very clear. There should not be any doubt. Because we will be using interplay of stages a lot. So you need to be clear about it. Now let's introduce WD Yan. So I'll be very brief about him. So basically he introduced the concept of cycles. He emphasized a lot on the cycles, I would say. What he said is there is a cycle in the nature. You see cycle in the nature everywhere. So same applies for the stock. He basically used the astrology or geometrical patterns to forecast what can happen in the future. And if you remember, I clearly mentioned that he was a controversial figure. And the reason for that is, no one ever knew if, he, if his methods made money to anybody. So, there was a lack of evidence on that front. Because those people who learned and tried to apply it never worked for them. Not for anybody. So, there were some opinions on him. But anyways, what I did is, even I tried his methods back in the day, but it never worked for me. So, what I did, I still took the ideas, the good ideas that uh, resonated with me, which was the cycles. He said everything is in cycles. Um, he gave things like stocks for a four-year cycle that, you know, they go in stage one, then stage two, then three. And then four. And this cycle repeats every four years for stocks. For some economies, it works for 10 years and so. That is the idea that he gave. So what I did is, I decided to make Stan Weinstein and WDR sit on a table together and make them discuss their concepts. So basically, intermingling of their concepts together. What they would think, what they would do. From there on, Two important cycles, two important concepts emerge. So now focus and be ready for some intense work here. First one is called as a horizontal cycle. 
द सेकेंड वन इज कॉल्ड एज अ वर्टिकल साइकिल वॉट डू आई मीन बाई ऑरिजोटल साइकिल योर इट्स वेरी सिंपल इट मीन्स दैट यू फिक्स अ टाइम फ्रेम एंड यू प्रोग्रेस थ्रू टाइम सो यू फिक्स लेट से वीकली टाइम फ्रेम एंड यू गो फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट ऑन द चार्ट यू विल सी दैट द चार्ट इज प्रोग्रेसिंग एंड यू विल सी साइकिल्स ऑफ द स्टेजेस इट इज एन स्टेज वन देन गोज इन टू टू देन थ्री देन फोर सेम थिंग रिपीट इज सेल्फ बेसिकली ओके देन देर इज अ वर्टिकल साइकिल in which you fix the time let's say you fix the date let's say 2nd of october now you can go left you can go right because the time is fixed what you can do is you can go through the time frames there also you will see a cycle what will happen is you will see that let's say your monthly you fixed the time 2nd of october now you started to go from top to bottom you saw monthly it is in stage 2 you saw weekly stage 2 You saw daily stage two, but the hourly is in stage four. The fifteen is in four, but the five is in one. So think about, it. try to imagine it. And there are cycles of price, which is basically your um, stage analysis that we do, one, two, three, four. But there is a cycle of moving averages. Now this is a very in-depth topic that will be separately covered, but just to give you the idea. Now this is the diagram that I want to show you, the horizontal and the vertical cycles. This diagram clears it up for you. This is my horizontal line. So the time frame is, you know, I've fixed the time frame, W. You can see I can't move up and down. I can only go left and right on the W. But that means from left to right you can go and see your um mm. stock chart. On the vertical line, what is fixed is my time, right? um fixed on the time when what is happening is my stages are changing correct so that is important and everything that will happen everything that has happened everything is now so this diagram clears these two things now we'll separately see the horizontal cycle then we will see the vertical cycle and that is why i've created a presentation and we are not on a drawing board because this is very um important for you to understand so you need something you know or written down and everything for you to reflect back i'll give you the slides as well so now see this let's discuss the horizontal cycle what are we doing we are fixing the time frame and progressing through time so here let's imagine that this is a monthly chart this could be any this could be a 30 second chart or a 3 hour chart whatever you like or uh, we have taken monthly here so we'll see what is happening though I see that there is a stage one. Okay, so we are here. Then what happens is we go through a stage two. This is very clear. Then what happens is the stock goes into stage number three. That is over here, and then finally you go into four. So what will happen on the monthly is monthly will keep doing something out of these four. One, two, three. Probably it might skip four, and then you know three gets converted into one. As that is why I don't use one and three. I always use range. but anyways you get the idea that my monthly will keep doing the cycle of this fine so horizontal cycle pretty simple to understand that any given time frame will do the cycles of these stages now let's understand vertical cycle what we are supposed to do here is you fix the time element that is you scanning whenever you scan a chart you know on a daily time frame you scan for your patterns or your setup whatever the time is fixed whenever you are scanning what will happen it will happen tomorrow only but when you scan for the stocks everything is fixed but what you can do is you can go through time frames let's say somebody trade the weekly setup some people trade daily setup some people trade 30 minute setup right so you can go through these time frames now i'll put a question here you are watching the chart you will see that there are a lot of setups whatever setup you follow some stocks will blast and give you 50% returns the pattern will be similar the structure will be similar while some will just move 5% up and then come back in what could be the possible reason obviously there is no one reason but what is something that encapsulates everything 
obviously there are concepts that you have learned like dna um relativity location three five cardinal structure right these factors are important but something just encapsulates all these concepts together and what is that let's understand vertical cycle will actually help you so what will happen here is that let's take this example here right let's say this is a, a monthly chart this is a daily chart and let's say this is a 15 minute chart right what will happen is let's say you saw the stock over here so daily you are like okay good setup good setup i think this can give me a return and you see that previously a similar looking setup gave you 50 percent move so you will naturally think something should happen you know similar at least but then what you miss is this vertical cycle if i see something is like this perfect stage two on a daily but then i see that my monthly is actually a stage one that means i don't have the support of monthly bias right you don't have it as of now which means this might not give you a good return this might go four five six percent up according to the dna and all that and then come back down and that is fine why because you don't have the support of the monthly bias and on 15 minute you will have stage four fine then you will see this also happening let's say the monthly is like this my daily is like this and my 15 is like this now again here this time the stock will go for a long period of time for a long period of time it will keep going up why is that because this time when you run the vertical cycle the monthly is in a perfect stage two that means you having support of these people within that you are getting this within that you are getting a stage for a 15 minute and that is why this will work better and not this one remember one thing i showed you in the beginning of this lecture here this is what i showed you stage two within one three is best for short term trades Two within two is best for positional trades. Obviously, there are more factors, but this is a good factor to just shortlist the stocks. That what kind of trades are you looking for? Other details can be looked later on. So I hope these two cycles are clear to you. That if I get a daily like this, but the monthly or the weekly is, uh, let's say what. It is a stage one or three, basically a range. Then I know what kind of trades to plan for. If that is not the case, I know I can plan for a long term, right? Which leads us to the cycles of moving averages. So now see this diagram here. The moving averages used are written what color represents what. And these three are important concepts that we have discussed in length. You will observe this in the stocks. What will happen is, let's say they were in a range. A breakout comes, then a contraction happens, then a move comes. Then what will happen is, 10 will come close to 20. Fine. Then what will happen is, 10 will go below 20. Then what will happen is, 10 will go below 20 and 50. That will lead to 20 now going below 50. And then again, what will happen? It will go into a range. So, a cycle. This happens at the moving averages as well. So now, this adds more layer to your relativity concept. Because if I see my stock is here, I know that 10 has very less probabilities of going below 20. That means any con expansion followed by contraction that is happening as of now, has just come out of the range, will give you a move from 10 moving average. Right. But let's say I'm seeing a stock somewhere here. It's at 10 moving average, but I know one contraction came to 10. It gave me a move and now it's the second time. After checking these three points, I see, I will clearly know that this time even my 10 will go below 20. Then a setup will emerge. So I'll not pay any attention here. But when the 10 is below 20 and whatever price action is happening over there, then I'll be interested in trading that stock. And if I've seen this all already happen and I'm watching here, I know that even my 20 can go near to the 50. They can basically get in a big range. 
So through moving the averages, we knew that it is objectification of relativity, but through cycles also we get a deeper understanding. This will help us when I talk about specific setups that when we will discuss that, that is where it will be helpful. That how do I know 10 is going to go below 20 or not? How do I know that 10 will not go below 50? And at what time my 10 will start going above 20? Very important in-depth lectures will be given to you. But for now, I'm just giving you some hints. There is a vertical cycle of moving averages. And this is very important. See, horizontal cycle is pretty easy because it follows what the price is doing. So, easier to understand and pretty intuitive, I would say. But the vertical cycle is where it is. What is it? Let's see that. So, these are the moving averages that we have used. This needs us, the vertical cycle basically introduces us to the concept of linking of moving averages. As we move forward in our lecture, we will see that it is the most essential um, concept to time your trades, you know. So we'll see that. But let me just explain it to you. What will happen is what you will see is that let's say you've got an expansion, right, which led to untangling of the moving averages and we had a contraction. So we'll expect it to come to 10 and then take off. Let's say this is a daily. What will happen with hourly is, by that time, hourly relativity will kick in. That means hourly will not stop at 10, which implies that 10 will go below 20 on the hourly. So you will see that. Same thing applied, relativity concept applied to a 15 minute will imply that now 15 minute, if you see, would have done this horizontal cycle and it will go into this which I have shown it to you. So 15 minute will be here where 10 will be below 20, 20 will be below 50 and they will be near to 200 moving average. So what is happening is on daily as of very recent an event has happened, the event of breakout from a range which has led to untangling of moving averages. So that is what is happening on the daily, that is the cycle. On hourly, what is happening is that cycle happened much before. Now, what is happening? 10 is going below 20. So, the price will come around 20 or 50. On 15 minute, you would be in this cycle where the 10 is below 20 and those are below 50. So, this is where I will focus on. And you will see that what will happen is 10 of daily, price will be there. In most of the cases, it will be at the hourly 50 and that will be at the 15 minute 200. That is where the move will come, which is called as basically the linking of moving averages. So here is something you to think about that 10 EMA of monthly is near to 200 daily of basically 200 daily moving average. How does it help me? I don't know. It's your job to think about it. Right? But these are the things which are very important, which is the key, I will say. This lecture is the key. And from here on, the Rich Road stage analysis starts. This is not what Stan Weinstein did because he never met W.D. Yan. And W.D. Yan never analyzed Stan Weinstein's work. So this never happened. But we are making it happen. So I'll show it to you now on the charts, trades that I've taken. So, you get a lot more clarity. Okay, so we are on the chart of PNB glitz and uh, you can see it here. It came to 10, right? Fine. What happened? We broke out from the range. So, that is also very clear. So, daily what is happening? Untangling and at 10. That is where we are. Where I saw the hourly, see for yourself what is happening. Price is, uh, you know, 10 is below 20. And the price is between 20 and 50, somewhere around there. Okay, make it clear, fine. But see, before that, what happened? This is where, what happened on the daily, you had all the hourly, right? And then you had some moves, small moves from there on. But you know that the relativity is going to kick in, so eventually this is going to happen. And that happened, fine. Let's see the 15 minute as well. See for yourself. I'll even remove the price here.
say it see the moving out of this 15 minute this is where the untangling started right and uh, see what was happening before that this is not is it not exactly the same what happened here is it not a cycle that is happening on the chart well it is happening true that is only when the big move is coming you can clearly see it yourself only when this was the condition here the move came and the same thing happened here now please ask me that why did we not move up from here right the buyers came in here but did not move about why see this where you are there is still this distance left so but once you came here absolutely brilliant move you got from here right and these other diagrams i exactly drew to make you understand the linking of moving averages fine this is one thing let's pick another chart of jk tire okay so yeah let's see this also what happened here 10 below 20 why is that let's see amazing work this see for yourself 10 20 50 got above and then see what happened had the 10 moving average now let's first analyze this area so you get more clarity you don't have to work more you can get everything here okay so i'll uh, mark this area 10 20 50 all above each other up slope everything is good we have cbs relativity everything is in check fine let's go to the hourly and let's see what is happening over there Well, you see for yourself, blue line is twenty, and the green line is fifty. It stayed above each other, right? Twenty is above fifty. Price is around that. Okay, and ten is below. Obviously, that is understood. Fine. Let's see what is happening on the fifteen in the mark box. See for yourself. What is this? linking of moving out of this only after this the big move came why because this is what a range stan weinstein taught this exactly i mean just imagine i show you this chart and i don't tell you what time frame is this i tell you this is a weekly time frame stan weinstein would be very happy with this chart exactly what happened on the 15 fine let's go in more depth here this is what happened now i know here so a lot of i know a lot of people probably would be buying here i personally wouldn't i know relativity i know everything has played out so i'll personally wait and the earnings were also there but we knew it that we will not buy it here it could have gone above but our rules say we will not buy because of relativity concept and here the stock did go down but was that not expected well it was expected it was expected see what happened after that 10 at 20 around 20 and then what happened 10 went above 20 fine and then you got a move okay then what happened again you were spending time at between 10 and 20 and all that but now i know at this point my relativity is kicking in so i need to go to 50 as well before that we went for 50 because of these relativity the same thing is happening we went to the 50 and then again we had moves here true Now let me show you something. Let me mark this area first, and let me show you on the hourly what is happening on the hourly. Right, the linking of moving up. This if on daily I'm at ten, hourly will not should not be at two hundred. Right, in the cases where you have come out of the range, that is important. Not always because there are cases where. daily at 10 with hourly at 200 is a good thing not in this case so here daily is not at 10 it is at 50 that means my hourly should be somewhere around 200 which in this case was happening okay absolutely fine let's see this time also similar thing must have happened you can see for yourself on daily you see you went to 50 on hourly you were at 200 and see the moving averages is that not what i've taught you right so what is happening is it's a range for me and then what happened now after this these you know stocks coming out 
I had my daily at 10 moving average. That means hourly will be in this cycle, right? See this hourly came here, it went up. Not here in this case because linking. So hourly is going to the 50 here. That is absolutely fine. 20 is being above 50 and 10 is up below 20. Absolutely fine. Let's see what is 15 doing. Well, you can see for yourself, the bottom was created at 200 or 15. This is what I taught you. Okay. Let's pick one more. KKCL. What is happening here? Every time it is happening, right? I'm not making stuff up. See, price breaks out. 10 above 20, above 50, 200. Price comes to 10, gives you a move. Then comes between 10 and 20. Explained it already in the previous lectures. If you remember. Then it goes up. Now I know relativity has kicked in. So I know what you are looking for. Price comes to daily. 50 moving average. Okay. Let's mark it down. On hourly what you will expect? To come around 200. At 200. Then what happens? I'll show you. Then what happened on the daily? You were hovering around. Here. Between 10 and 20, right? On the hourly, what should happen? Between 20 and 50. And that should all only happen in that linkage. That has happened. And then a move came. Now let's see how the 15 minute actually looked like here in this case. See for yourself. See the red line. That is the 200. The bottom is made in stage 1 or stage 4. Right. In this case, you very brief moment. For a brief moment, you add up stage 4 or stage 1. Doesn't really matter. You get the point. You get the concept. This is what happened on a move game. Fine. There is uh, one more trade. I'll talk about Optimus. You know, it's uh, a little different. But anyways, you'll get the idea. Fine. What happened here? See. Everything's together. CVs are there. What happens here? I'm at 10. 10 above 20, 20 above 200, 50 was just coming out across, but the setup was fine, right? What? Just try to imagine what the hourly brought probably look like here in this box. Imagine it. And let's see it now. See for yourself. 10 around 20, very close. Price around 20 and 50. Fine, let's see what the 15 would look like. See? Intermingled in a range near to 200. Add a move came. Add a brilliant move came. Fine. After that, what happened? Relativity kicked in. You went 10 20, but that also failed. And you eventually came to 20 and 50. Fine. Let's see that what happened. So 10 has crossed below 20. That is what is happening here. Let's see the hourly here. Hourly should be around 200, which is in the case here. Let's see 15 here. This is how the 15 is looking. What is happening here? Exactly what should happen when the moving average cross happens, right? When the range is, you are coming out from range. When an expansion is happening, this is only what happens. That happened on here. So, this is a very important concept for you to just ponder upon. I've given you hints. Now your job is to think about it. Be a free thinker. Don't be enslaved to any pattern or any particular thing, you know. Just be a free thinker. What all things, I've given you hint already. But just think what all things are possible, what all can happen. There are more trades I'll show you. Poker now was one. A very similar thing. Now see here, now people will question that, okay, if the bias was so strong here, why did we actually go down? What happened here? I will show it to you where you are. What is the monthly saying? Is that a perfect stage 2? It is not. It is a big range. You don't even have a lot of data here. That is why my daily did not work. And hence it was written all over that this is going to be a short term trader. Don't carry for a very long time. Unless I get a perfect stage 2 in the monthly itself. 10 above 20. That is what is required. Which was never the case on the monthly. So that rules out any possibility. Of carrying it for a long period of time. But anyways, let's analyze this also. Came to 10. Right. CBs, everything good. Recently, there is an event. 
okay, let's see the early. Try to visualize what would it look like. Okay. Well, pretty brilliant. Pretty brilliant here. Okay, let's see 15 minutes. Try to visualize where all the things would be happening. Let's see this also. I don't think I have to say anything, right? I don't think I have to. Exactly as I have explained everything in the slides to you. So this is something called as a linking of moving averages. And these are two cycles, a vertical cycle, horizontal cycle. Horizontal cycle will tell you what is happening where you are. Vertical cycles will actually help you with the timing and with what kind of trade, whether it will be a positional trade or it will be a short term trade. Vertical cycle will tell you. Horizontal cycle will basically be important for us when we talk about the setups. That is where it will be very important. So that brings me to the topic of setups. Now see, honestly, I don't like the word setup in itself. But for lack of a better word, I'm just using it and everybody uses it. So I'll use it. But basically based on these horizontal and vertical cycles and all the work that we have done, I have created setups which will further enhance, like just enlighten you about a lot of things in the market. So, and if you see, setups are nothing but they are specific expression of demand and supply. Demand and supply will have a very different expression when it is at 10 moving average. It will be very different when it is between 10 and 20. It will be very different when it is at 50. Everything on a daily time. So, you just need to understand those expressions once you know that. Things are clear. So, we basically have these two setups. We'll explore in depth these setups as we move forward from here on. But before that, one thing has to be very clear. Analysis and setups will always be top down. Setups will never emerge from the bottom. They will always build from the top. What people do is, okay, don't mind this thing, it's F-R-O-N. But what people do is, they always try to do bottoms up. Right, they, they see that 15 is at 200, that means it's a buy. But it is not, it always has to be top down. So keep this point in mind. It's, this will be very helpful when you scan, when you trade, and when I'll teach you about the setups. And this will also help you decide that what is my setup time frame, basically. Once I'll teach you this, then you'll get a lot more clarity on basically this question. You might be having this question. Stay with it. This will be clear as you move forward. But I hope this adds a lot of value to you. This sparks your brain to think about it. I hope it rushes your brain to think about a lot of things. A lot of things should come to you now. Should come rushing to you now. And my advice to you now is, go back and watch the lectures. Go back and watch the lectures. All the lectures. 1 to 15. Watch them. You will be surprised as to what all things you were given there that you missed. This is how this program is created. This is how I always design my lectures. That when you're, um, let's say, let's say the lecture 1, the person, the you, watching lecture 15, when he goes back to lecture 1, basically you are from the future, right? If somebody is at lecture 1 right now and you are coming from the 15, you are his future. But for you, you are going in past. When you do that, you will get so many things that you missed that you will be surprised. You will be surprised. So now this is my request. And uh, I'll force you now. I'll force you to do this. Because this is very important. You will just see that there are so many gems from lecture, right from the lecture 1 to lecture 15 that you missed. And that was intentionally, I made the lectures like that, that you do this work. That you go back in time, watch those things and make notes now. You will be a different person altogether. So this is a very dense work that we have done. Some dense concepts I've introduced you will work a lot on these as we move forward. 
but i hope this adds a lot of thing right so as we talked about right in the initial uh, slide that with this your win rate has to be 70% up because how can you buy something at 10 when you clearly know that it is going to you know 10 moving average is going to go below 20 how will you buy it at 10 you can never and this is all basically the moving averages are with this you can form your entry and exit rules very clearly if i know i'm uh, stage 2 within a 1 or 3 i know i'll exit early if i know i'm 2 within 2 i know i'll exit later on obviously the concepts of relativity location dna everything checked now is the time to give you a scan saying it let me give it to you and let me make you understand that what is the power of that scan so this is a basic scan you know a lot of things are there or uh, if i explain this this will be a little bit a longer video more than this but i'll tell you what exactly are we looking for and if you see on an average this will give you you know uh, somewhere around uh, 60 stocks on an average you will get that is not a large number and i'll explain it why is that and you will catch every stock i can show it to you let's say this is a stock right you want to see so i'll explain it through the seo taking the example of this so when the setup was there 5th of october the setup was there right so let's see if it gave you or not 5th of october search for pnb here where is it is it here or not right so make sense if you want more evidence uh, we can probably look at poker or uh, 29th and 28th of august should be on both the days 28th and 29th poker na right let's see do we have it well yes we have it okay that is fine so yeah fine the scan obviously works well basically what exactly are we looking for is there is a fresh stage to starting fresh right what is basically that means that basically means two things either your blue line 20 moving average crosses above 50 that is one thing or or your 50 crosses above 200 if any of those two conditions are happening and we have good buyers good cbs as you know on the left hand side and currently you are basically consolidating contracting within a demand candle through inside buds well that is a setup obviously you see a lot of stocks here right a lot of them are illiquid a lot of them will have very bad quality cb a lot of them will be at bad location but that is something very subjective you have to watch the chart and just by looking at it you will know what is up so you can probably look at a few charts let's pick a few ones here let's see balram chini here i can clearly see my cbs are just bad here right 5th of october pretty bad i'll ignore it okay spic pretty bad blue star go you know that the move is already done the move actually came on 15th 9 this is where i traded also put it on the channel as well so probably we'll run it for this that 15 9 go whether this stock came or not we'll see that first moving out of this we'll make it 10 we'll make it 20 and then we'll have 50 here 200 will all these will be exponential so yeah, now we'll update it okay So what is the date here? Fifteen nine, right? Okay. Through relativity, I can say this is not going to work here clearly. Okay. So fifteen nine will go back, and we'll see, right? So pretty simple. This is all that you have to look for in the stocks. It's a very well-made thing for you, and if you see this, yeah. the see this gave you on fourth right gave you one day before that is even better for cb that came recent event happened price at 10 you know what will happen 20 person just like that so yeah this is what i'm giving it to you so use it wisely or uh, use it to make money and i hope you'll use all the concepts that have been talked together with this and uh, if you are using the cb scan well nothing's better than that right that is the top scan nothing everything is below that but if you want to be a little specific 
that okay i only want to trade one kind of setup i only want to study one kind of setup this is a scam that will work for you if you want to get some inspiration this is a scam that will work for you so yeah i'm giving it to you to help you flex your muscles to think about things and this is how serious one has to be in this business but i'm doing that work for you so i hope you reciprocate that with the efforts and the energy but i'm giving a lot of things now it's up to you because from here onwards we are going to be very specific and you will basically not need to do anything but up till now you still have time you still have time after this lecture before lecture 17 comes out do whatever you want on your own because after that i'll be taking the hope i'll be driving you up till now you have been given a lot of space for creativity to think you know basically to keep you in a lot of chaos but now things will get more clear as we move in a very specific direction especially about the candlesticks we'll be very specific about the candlesticks and what they do with the moving out of this so we'll study that also but yeah i hope you take a lot of value from this and i'll see you in the next lecture